I'm Oscar Oswald. Here we are in Rockford, Michigan, and we're here in front of the bookstore Open Mind, which is more than just a bookstore, which we'll find out. We'll be talking with Lauren, who is the owner and manager of the store, and a psychic Mary, who are both very intriguing and very interesting people that I think you'll enjoy. We carry all the different kinds of incense and the Native American things down here. We have a lot of the sage, which is really good for cleansing your house and purifying your space. Um, the sweet grass is a very feminine energy, which puts that back into your space. Uh, and then we carry a lot of the different incense, and then over here we have all the different herbs and things for, um, Natalie Lynn does kind of more of a Celtic herbs or witches herbs and things like that, so we carry all of hers. And then all the different candles, and these are Reiki charged candles, so a lot of the people come in and get these because they're charged with a specific intention. So as they burn, you say the prayer with it, and then that's the prayer that purifies your home. And we have all the different tarot card decks and divination decks and uh, crystal balls and things like that. A lot of people come in and um, want to have something, you know, the power of intention. This is one that has always gone really well by Wayne Dyer and that. That's kind of this area right here. And then we have all the different fairies and um, these fairies kind of hang. And then we have all the different fairies here and pendulums. <laughs> and then uh, as we come up here we have a lot of jewelry, the sterling silver jewelry, all the um, Celtic porcelain jewelry, sterling silver jewelry, stones, copper bracelets, pendants, this and then over here is where a lot of the fair trade items are from Nepal so we get all these, uh, most of these items come from a company called Far East Handicrafts that does all the fair trade items. So we buy them directly from the people and they're paid a fair wage for what they make. And uh, then we have stickers and prayer flags like what we have hanging out front. And our lovely mannequin who models our uh, mantra shirts and sarongs. And we carry a large variety of malas and of tapestries and sarongs. And the tapestries we have hung up over there and then a couple of hand painted ones. And so, and these are paper lanterns that are all handmade in Nepal. And a uh, large table here in the middle is all of our little pocket stones. So people can come in and say, oh, you know, these are, you know, oh, I really need something that can help me cleanse my home. Like, I really need something that's going to be very purifying. And so then we say, like, okay, well, Petoskey is a very grounding stone, or Lapis it carries a very high vibration and can help you with a lot of different things. So we carry a lot of different varieties of the stones and all that and then we have a lot of the music so we have uh, meditation music and we have Celtic music um, a lot of the Native American music, yoga music and uh, science music like a lot of these by Jonathan Goldman are actually through he studies the vibration of sound and so by listening to them they all actually alter your bioenergetic field and then we carry a lot of the different instruments over here. People like to come in and make music and have fun. And so all the kids come in and get the rattles and everything. And then the drums for our drum circles that we have once a month, the first Friday of every month, the community drum circles. And then we have all the Swarovski crystal jewelry that a lot of the women come in and say, you know, oh, I really just need something to really embrace the fact that, you know, do something special for myself. And so they get the goddess bracelet or the goddess jewelry, which has a blessing. and. Penny Crabtree is the artist, and she goes and takes all of them and has them blessed by holy men and divine people. And, uh, and over here we have our essential oils and flower essences and oil burners. And then we have a selection of wind chimes and a whole bunch of different little statues, uh, Buddhas and Kuan Yin and um, singing bowls from Tibet. These are pretty cool. They
So they have a dorje, which is the male aspect, and then the bell is the female aspect, and when used together, they create a very stable, balanced energy within oneself. Generally, the bell is used at the beginning and at the end of a meditation. In August of 2000, the Grand Haven Coast Guard heard a young child out in the water crying in distress. Hi, I'm Oscar Osbo. The Mackinac was dispatched to what they thought were the cries of a little boy. A thousand yards away, they found a small craft with no children, and nobody heard the cry of a little boy except the Coast Guard on the Mackinac. Over 120 years ago, a young child died in these waters in Grand Haven. His name was Harry Valentine. They heard the cry of a young child on August 6th, 2000. The Coast Guard went to investigate. Many other times it was reported that a young child was heard out in the waters, but there was no child to be found. Is this a ghost story? Is this a true ghost story? That's the question. I'm Oscar Oswald. Here we are in Rockford, Michigan. And we're here in front of the bookstore, Open Mind, which is more than just a bookstore, which we'll find out. We'll be talking with Lauren, who is the owner and manager of the store, and a psychic, Mary, who are both very intriguing and very interesting people that I think you'll enjoy. And what it says right here is that Oscar is a wonderful, wonderful man. Um, his arms almost seem too long because he hugs so well. Um, he's very generous with everything that he does. He's yet, yet he's a very strong and masculine man. Um, he's the kind of man that likes to stand back and watch other people shine interestingly. Um, it also tells me here that he likes to color outside the lines a little bit, which would really draw in the whole idea of him um, wanting to do something about metaphysics, even though he has some skepticism. Um, I'm also seeing here that uh, the real um, core of it is that he has um, very strong intuition to the point of psychic himself and he's and he is waking some of that up so he's starting to see that some of those intuitions are actually turning into things. Um, I'm seeing here that although you have some differences um, um, that you are very you are becoming sort of becoming very good friends but um, you hold yourself back a little bit. You don't let anybody right in there. <laughs> okay, so I see some, uh, um, I'm not going to give you all my friendship. I'm not going to let you know who I really am unless I can trust. And so you've always obviously got some bruised trust because um, you hold a little bit back. Um, but I'm also seeing that um, um, there's a, a relative of his that's coming up to, has some kind of an illness that he's going to need to be helping with somewhat, but it is a survivable illness um, if right steps are taken. Um, I'm also seeing here that there's a young girl in his life, a child, um, that is going to be influential in a lot of things that are happening for him. Um, I'm also seeing that he actually is very, very talented. Um, I would say probably as a voice artist because I've got the information from you that that's what he does. But um, what I'm seeing here is the star card, which uh, really means to me, um, and, and, and the, the star card is the firefly, okay? And so what it means is he really can light up a space with his abilities. And, and what I am feeling is that that's probably his voice work, the work that he does there, and he does an excellent job with it. And um, I'm also seeing that he is at an age, I'd really be curious to know what his age is, because it seems like he's astrologically coming up to something where he's letting go of some of his stuck thinking. So what he's going to see as he goes on this little adventure um, with this program is that he's going to let go of some of his stuck thinking because he's going to see some sort of miraculous stuff. So that's kind of fun too. <laughs> so there's a little reading and he's not even in the room. <laughs> Well, basically, I've been doing this all of my life. Um, I have remembrances um, that I actually believe that I'm around seven or eight years old when I'm having experiences. So um, my mother, for some reason, didn't kind of knock it out of me. I remember coming in and talking to my mother when I was about uh, probably seven or eight years old. And I said, Mom, I was just out in the backyard, and 
the three bears and I were talking and she just burst out laughing. <laughs> she said, well, what were you talking about? And I don't actually remember what the discussion was, but uh, most of the time it was things about um, what people can do um, and, and with the, if they move forward. <laughs> okay, so that's most of the time what I was trying to tell her. Um, and then um, gradually, um, I think we all sort of forget those uh, those things are push them to the back of our mind as life goes on and as we go on our, our personal journeys in life. And um, I, when I was divorced um, in 1980, um, I started doing more reading and opening to what I was doing. I will say, however, that as a youth, my friends, um, people came to me and asked me questions. Um, when I was a youth. Even some family members would come to me and ask me how I thought things were going to go. My intuitions, which I believe is what being a psychic is, is heightened intuition, being aware of your intuitions, um, were always um, pretty right on. There were things that I knew too as a child. I, I remember just always knowing that I, at some point in time, not understanding what time, could move objects without touching them. And I would look at things and I would say, I really could move that as a very young child, but somehow I didn't reconcile why I wasn't doing it in this lifetime. So I don't remember going back there, but um, um, I had really strange experiences because I grew up Catholic. And I remember um, talking to the priest at church and having saying things like, well, you know, I really should get a Ouija board because <laughs> So maybe I could talk to these people more easily if I had a Ouija board. And he'd say, what people? <laughs> and I remember saying, well, you know, the people. The people that aren't really alive. <laughs> and he was like, well, um, Ouija boards are dangerous. And it was at that point in time, and I think I was probably 11 or 12, that I realized, because of what he said, that when I did spiritual work, I had to put out light and I had to protect myself. So one of my gifts too is that I've always protected myself kind of naturally. Um, I have not allowed, um, there's lots of times when people have had experiences where when they're working with this stuff that they get scared and they pull, pull in dark spirits and evil things. Well, I personally believe it's because they don't cleanse or protect their space. And we talked about that a little bit earlier about cleansing the space and saging it. Um, um, one of the reasons I like being in the store is because sage, um, you can cleanse a space with sage and spirits that don't belong will leave. And um, it's sort of a, a way to, um, there's a lot of spirits out there that are not crossed over, um, that um, haven't accepted their death, they are um, looking for a, a, a light to come to. Um, I do believe that somebody that's spiritual puts out a light that kind of draws some of those spirits and, and then they want to come into your space so you need to keep them out and there's rules on the other side that say that a spirit that doesn't um, belong with you has to go if you ask them to okay well I kind of just grew in this knowledge and then I and then I sort of hooked up with this group um, um, called spiritual development with Julian and Julian was a seraphim angel that was channeled through a woman out of New York. And I stayed with that group for 17 years, um, really opening um, to that down-to-earth thing um, that I believe that I have. Um, I believe that we're here to do work. Um, my mission as a psychic is to help people. I don't want to do this if I can't help people. And so that's one of the directions that I always take is that what can I do to bring this person along their path? How can I help them to see this in a way that's going to make their life better? Um, I, I, don't, um, I do believe there's ethics to what I do, and so when I'm talking to people about this, um, when they come here for a reading, um, I often start out, and so does Joan, who's the other psychic that works out of the store. Both of us start out by sort of saying, uh, if someone's here for the first time, um, um, death is an issue that is ethically wrong for us to talk about. Anything that you see in a reading is changeable because what we're doing is reading your energy right now. So if I say to you, um, your husband is going to die, um, then um, in, I'm not helping you. I am helping you to create that too. 
Whereas if I said, I can see some big challenges here with your husband, and I think he really needs to see a nephrologist, or I think you really need to get him into the doctor because I'm feeling pain here. Um, that is a way to help them to change that outcome. That is a way to help them take the right direction there. Um, um, it may be presenting itself as if he doesn't change right now, he's going to die next week. But if I present it to him um, as today, you better get this person to the doctor because there's something really serious that I'm seeing, their thought is that they can fix that person too or help that person. You understand what I mean? Can, that. can they help them out? Oh, yes, surely can. Our thoughts are so powerful. Our thoughts are so very powerful um, that we can change anything in a reading. So in other words, um, if you are in a relationship, and what I see is that this relationship is going to break up, um, I will say to you, this is why that's not a bad direction for you, but you don't have to have it go this way. If you give up part of yourself, you can continue with this relationship, you know, and, and I'm not quite that directly, but, you know, uh, that, there's a responsibility that comes from doing this kind of a reading, too. $5,000 reward for information leading to the arrest and conviction of the suspect or suspects responsible for the death of Alvaro Laura. Alvaro was 72 years old, was found by his daughter on April 27th inside his home in Muskegon, brutally stabbed and beaten to death. And still, the homicide remains a mystery. Please help Alvaro's family for justice. Anyone with information is urged to contact the Muskegon Heights Police Department at 231-733-8900 or Silent Observer at 72 crime. Call Bad Boys Bell Bonds. Open 24-7, 365 days a year. Agents statewide and nationwide. We do 10% bonds for less. Call toll-free 866-728-6400. And remember, if we can't get you out, you ain't getting out. Payment plans available. Call now, 866-728-6400. Classic Computer Sales and Service. They buy, sell, trade, repair, and upgrade. New custom-built computers, three-year guarantee, excludes laptops. Or your computer tuned up with more memory, hard drive, or maybe a DVD burner installed for $49.95. Need cables, power supply, or get the computer built the way you want it. You can do it at Classic Computer in their new location, 1921 Apple Avenue, Sweet B. Call. 773-5957 Classic Computer with hometown quality service Make a run for the border Taco Bell is waiting to cook for you Delicious tacos, nachos, chalupas, gorditas quesadillas or try their famous grilled stuffed burrito for only $1.99 Make it a combo for only $3.49 Their large variety includes specialties combos, supreme salads and kids meals Taco Bell, the best fast food north of the border So walk in or drive up Visit all of the Taco Bells in West Michigan Open Sunday through Thursday 10 a.m. to 11 p.m. Taco Bells open Fridays and Saturdays from 10 a.m. until 1 a.m. Okay. Oh, my name is Lauren Cowell, and I'm the owner of Open Mind in downtown Rockford. We are a metaphysical, spiritual healing bookstore, music, gems, minerals, crystals, uh, incense, statues, candles. We try and provide everything that we can for people on their <coughs> spiritual path and people who would like to heal and have those tools available. Um, basically, I was pregnant and working at a hair salon and I felt my baby kick. It was the third month that I was pregnant and I decided that there was no way that I could work in that environment anymore and have those kind of energies flowing around me because I knew that they were going through me and into my baby and that he was feeling everything that I was feeling and uh, the women there were not standing in my opinion in their goddess selves and being kind sisters to each other so I went to my boss and I said I can't work here anymore. I can't have my baby feeling all this kind of energy and I need to I need to be able to do what I believe and live what I believe and this isn't what I believe. I believe that people should be healing and um, I guess I'm just not going to work. And I went home that night and the next day I decided to go to a store and I had an interview for a sales associate position um, and by the end of the conversation it was mentioned that half of the store was for sale and so I went home and I spoke with my father and said, you know, this is my resume, will you look it over? And he looked over it and he said, 
geez, Lauren, I should really buy a store and have you manage it. And I said, yeah, right, Dad. We've been talking about this since fourth grade. Cool. And then I went to a Reiki gathering that night with Mary Miller, and um, we are Reiki practitioners together. And she said, if you guys want to buy anything from Open Mind, you better go. It's their last month. They're closing at the end of December. And I said, no, they won't. My family will buy it. And we'll run it and it'll it'll stay alive and I called Julie and Brian the next day and said would you consider selling instead of closing and they said oh maybe and I said well, okay we'll go meet with you and so my mom and dad and I met with them this was on Wednesday night and a week later we signed all the papers and bought the store and so uh, the same time that I went out to have uh, give birth to my son Kyan the store opened up we knocked out the back wall changed the color so it went from a coral to a sage, because sage is a very cleansing and healing and calming vibration, and uh, knocked out the back wall and added many new sections and things like that, and now we have this store. So. How were the reactions of the neighborhood? We were talking a little bit about that before too. Was it was well, it an overwhelming welcome hand, or was it? Uh... You know, because Julie and Brian, the previous owners, had really provided a lot of the kind of the base and they are the foundation that we're building upon, they got the bunt end of all that kind of stuff. They got all the people who are really skeptic and we've had a few of the people who have, you know, kind of been like, oh, they're, you know, those are negative tools and things like that. But I think it's all kind of part of the person's opinion. But we've had ads run, you know, newspaper articles done in the Squire and in the Advance about the fact that we're new owners and we're giving the store a new look and, you know, keeping the heart alive though. Because that's, that's what Julie and Brian really formed a very beautiful store here. And we just wanted to be able to build upon that and kind of create a community center here as well. As far as your background? Uh, well, I basically moved a lot growing up. I think Oxford was my 26th move and I moved here to graduate high school. I did my junior and senior years here. We lived in New Zealand for two years before that and uh, Colorado, California, Texas, all over the place. And so basically, I had to realize that my home was inside of myself and create a stable place inside of my own self because moving all the time, it can create a very unstable or kind of, you know, if you're always in a different place and always having to find that home somewhere outside of yourself, you're searching for it. And I found that I just had to be stable and comfortable within this uh, skin suit, I call it, because it's, <laughs> You know, it's, it's here for this earth walk. And uh, then we moved to Rockford, and I ended up graduating high school and saying, i got to get out of here. I just can't handle it. So I uh, traveled for a while. I went to Tennessee and worked on an organic farm. I went to Florida, Colorado, lived in a tiny co town called Ward. And um, basically, at one point in time, I just woke up and said, I need to go home today. And... Um, Within the hour that I said that, I packed and got ready and left, and there was no snow on the ground when I left, and there was, I think, 24 inches within, a, like, a two days after I left, so I was like, well, I left at the exact right time, <laughs> <laughs> and I came home, and I worked here in Grand Rapids for two years, and then I, one day I woke up, and I said, I, I have to leave Grand Rapids today. I know that I need to go to Ashland, Oregon, and I didn't know anybody in Ashland, Oregon, or know why I needed to go there. So I went home and I said, you know, Dad, will you help me move out of my apartment today? Can I come stay at your house for a month before I leave? And of course he expects this by, from me by now, so he came and he did it. And uh, I stayed at their house for that next month and then I left. I said, I gotta go. I'm being called, I'm a warrior of the light. I'm, I'm being called by my family and I have to go out there and learn with those people so that I can come back and share this information because it's information that is needed here. And so uh, 10 months later I came back and Ended up working as a artist and doing jewelry shows and things like that for uh, all of last summer. And then I conceived my son and um, knew that I was having a baby boy. And uh, my sister said, get a real job, you can't be a hippie. And so I got a real job at a hair salon. <laughs> and then that's basically when all this happened. So. Well, we have classes, we have gatherings, we do drum circles the first Friday of every month. We have a women's gathering every Wednesday, and that's a women's midlife support group that they talk about all the things that they're going through right now because it's a very special age for women. And then 
Uh, we have different energy medicine workshops. Uh, there's a group called Energize who comes in and they teach um, past life regression classes and energy medicine workshops. We have our psychics, Mary Miller and Joan Cranmore, who read here every Friday and Saturday from 10 a.m. till 7 p.m. And um, they do half an hour or hour long readings. And we have a special room back here that they do those in that we built for them. And uh, we offer Reiki. I do Reiki appointments out of the back room. Um, we have many different teachers who come and teach classes upstairs. Everything from Kabbalah, astrology, geez, wire wrapping, um, <laughs> right. dream catcher making, uh, pretty much anything that you can think of to be able to kind of, if you want, basically my goal is to provide that interfaith resource center to be able to have people come here. And it doesn't really matter what faith you are, that you can come here and you can find something to help you along on your spiritual path. Make a run for the border. Taco Bell is waiting to cook for you. Delicious tacos, nachos, chalupas, gorditas, quesadillas, or try their famous grilled stuffed burrito for only $1.99. Make it a combo for only $3.49. Their large variety includes specialties, combos, supreme salads, and kids' meals. Taco Bell, the best fast food north of the border. So walk in or drive up. Visit all of the Taco Bells in West Michigan. Open Sunday through Thursday, 10 a.m. to 11 p.m. Taco Bells open Fridays and Saturdays from 10 a.m. until 1 a.m. Classic Computer Sales and Service. They buy, sell, trade, repair, and upgrade. New custom-built computers, three-year guarantee, excludes laptops. Or your computer tuned up with more memory, hard drive, or maybe a DVD burner installed for $49.95. Need cables, power supply, or get the computer built the way you want it. You can do it at Classic Computer in their new location, 1921 Apple Avenue, Suite B. Call 773-5957. Classic Computer with hometown quality service. $5,000 reward for information leading to the arrest and conviction of the suspect or suspects responsible for the death of Alvaro Laura. Alvaro was 72 years old, was found by his daughter on April 27th inside his home in Muskegon, brutally stabbed and beaten to death. And still, the homicide remains a mystery. Please help Alvaro's family for justice. Anyone with information is urged to contact the Muskegon Heights Police Department at 231-733-8900 or Silent Observer at 72 Prime. Call Bad Boys Bell Bonds. Open 24-7, 365 days a year. Agents statewide and nationwide. We do 10% bonds for less. Call toll-free 866-728-6400. And remember, if we can't get you out, you ain't getting out. Payment plans available. Call now, 866-728-6400. majority of the people that come in here though um, come in here not as a skeptic right but the people that walk right. through our doors I think the energy that's created before they actually come in uh, the space that we create for them because we cleanse the space mm -hmm. and we bring in the light and we chime and we uh, put we use incenses and so we fill this such a space that most of the time a skeptic will walk in the door and walk right back out or not necessarily a skeptic but a a, a, a person that would be opposed to this kind of energy or work would, would generally come. Oftentimes you'll see them come in the door, do a little circle, and then go right back out. And if they come with somebody that really likes the energy, that person will kind of be walking behind them and then they'll stay here and then yep. they'll say, I'll meet you outside. Because it's sort of, when you, when you cleanse it and you create a space like that, the, it makes the energy difficult for somebody uh, um, that is opposed to this energy to stay in the space. Well, and if we do clearings with sage and clear the space, I also ask at the door, I ask for the people of this vibration to find this space and come here. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of people don't know it's here. And I remember one time at Christmas, a woman came in, my, and the store was completely full of very good customer, customers that were really wanting to be here. We're like, wow, stones, and oh, what's the metaphysical property of this stone? Oh, I need this one. It's for luck, or oh, this one's for abundance, or, you know, oh, my sister just went to the hospital, I really need a stone for healing, and things like that. 
And this woman came in and she did the little, came in, did the loop, and on her way out, she goes, open mind, didn't open my mind none. And <laughs> she walked out the door. And the first person to say something was another customer that said, well, then what could open your mind? <laughs> and we're like, and then everyone started laughing, and it was like this beautiful, you know, it was like this, like this negative chord went out, and everyone responded by like, ha ha, you know, like, <laughs> okay, <Congratulations>. yeah, <laughs> because, and that's, that's kind of the thing, is like, I'm, I'm here to support whatever someone yeah. believes, as long as they're here to support the fact that anyone can believe what they want to. Exactly. That, you know, I don't, I'm not going to tell you that you're doing anything wrong, and, you know, if there are people out there who want to tell me that I'm doing something wrong for having this space or having Psychics Read here or having any of the products that I have here, that's okay because they don't have to like it. But you're talking about positive energy. I don't want to talk about any negative. Right, yes. right. The yes. positive. Yeah, yes. totally. And I would say we probably have, I mean, I'd say it's in the 90% of. Oh, way. Like Very at least 94% so. of the customers that come in here are like, <gasps> Yes. Wow. Yes. Oh, I'm so glad I found this. I had no idea. Yes. Open mind in Rockford? <laughs> what? And I'm like, yeah, it's exactly what I thought the first time I heard about the store. But, yeah. you know, but because I've been shopping here. An enormous, a plethora of, of open minded people in this area of course. that are so happy to have found this space, that are so happy that it's here. And, and uh, I mean, um, interestingly, we have people. Um, um, that come in from um, Muskegon area, from Whitehall, all along the lake shore. Um, uh, I think water draws this kind of energy, and this is a peninsula, so Michigan yep. is surrounded by water. And having the river and I, right I think here. there's a, a lot of people living inside of their doors at home saying, oh, I'm so, I so love this energy, but they're afraid to come out because they don't know the rest of us are here. So it's, it's nice that they're starting, that Lauren is putting out this, um, this draw for them come and find us and and um, then that, that uh, the word is spreading that there's something here that they can come and communally joy enjoy instead of being behind their closed doors right. with their candles lit and their incense going right. you know, so to speak so it's really it I just really believe that everybody's starting to open to this and I refuse yep. to believe that the majority is the closed mind anymore yep I don't believe that's true people are waking up yeah. I, I'm I, what I what um, I'm not opposed to Christianity. Um, I I do believe that a true Christian is going to come in the store and embrace the store. Um, I believe that what happens with a Christian that comes in here and wants to leave is fear. Um, I believe that the fear is that someone is going to shake up their solidly based in the box world that if they looked at something that's outside their box, that their box might break. What are they gonna do if their box breaks? Evolve. Exactly, but they don't see it that way. And I think that's what this is all about when people are opposed to opening their minds to something new, it's fear, it's just plain fear. Well, They're you, afraid of the unknown. You know yourself as being, you said you, said you came from a Catholic oh, background. Oh, I certainly did. <laughs> I also come from a Catholic background. You know yourself yes. that from the Catholic background, they just say, don't question, just believe. Exactly. But, and I was there in, in growing up in my Catholic school, and I went all the way through um, high school in the Catholic school system. I, I was their test of their faith <laughs> because I was the one coming to them and saying things like, well, what do you mean? I thought if I believed it that it was true, and they would go, oh, God. <laughs> I would shake them up. I would see them literally shake. And I actually had, I, I actually had a Catholic priest say to me, "Well, you're right. If you believe it, it's true." And I said, "Well, then I flew around my backyard." <laughs> and he said, "Well, you must have." And he walked away because I just shook them up all the time. So I didn't have an average Catholic experience because I was too curious. I was too. Well, that doesn't, that can't be right, <laughs> you know, and, um, um, and when they would say to me things like, you have to just accept this, this is a divine mystery, and I'd say, well, it doesn't seem to me like that should be so, <laughs> you know, so I was their trouble, <laughs> and, and I, I continue. <laughs>
$5,000 reward for information leading to the arrest and conviction of the suspect or suspects responsible for the death of Alvaro Laura. Alvaro was 72 years old, was found by his daughter on April 27th inside his home in Muskegon, brutally stabbed and beaten to death. And still, the homicide remains a mystery. Please help Alvaro's family for justice. Anyone with information is urged to contact the Muskegon Heights Police Department at 231-733-8900 or Silent Observer at 72 72- Crime. Call Bad Boys Bell Bonds. Open 24 7, 365 days a year. Agents statewide and nationwide. We do 10% bonds for less. Call toll free 866 728 6400. And remember, if we can't get you out, you ain't getting out. Payment plans available. Call now. 866-728-6400. Classic Computer Sales and Service. They buy, sell, trade, repair, and upgrade. New custom-built computers, three-year guarantee, excludes laptops. Or your computer tuned up with more memory, hard drive, or maybe a DVD burner installed for $49.95. Need cables, power supply, or get the computer built the way you want it. You can do it at Classic Computer in their new location, 1921 Apple Avenue, Suite B. Call 773-5957. Classic computer with hometown quality service. Make a run for the border. Taco Bell is waiting to cook for you. Delicious tacos, nachos, chalupas, gorditas, quesadillas, or try their famous grilled stuffed burrito for only $1.99. Make it a combo for only $3.49. Their large variety includes specialties, combos, supreme salads, and kids' meals. Taco Bell, the best fast food north of the border. So walk in or drive up. Visit all of the Taco Bells in West Michigan. Open Sunday through Thursday, 10 a.m. to 11 p.m. Taco Bells open Fridays and Saturdays from 10 a.m. until 1 a.m. Okay, well, I'm, I'm doing a quick one here, but it looks to me that uh, as though you've been in a rut and you've just plan shifted it. Okay, so mm -hmm. the rut is over, uh, which is really uh, what we all need to do. What's your birthday? February. February. Aquarian, okay. Um, 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 Aquarians don't like to be in ruts either. They like to no, change no. things all the time. Um, but what I'm seeing is that there's a move coming for you, a shift coming for you. Now that can be in business, which it probably is because of all the stuff that you're working on right here. Uh, or it can be in home life. But um, this is the chameleon. And what I like to think about the chameleon is it blends with where it's going. Okay, mm -hmm. so you're going to blend in. It's going to be a nice move, whatever the shift is for you. Um, so it, it's sort of like when I left the corporate world, when I, when I left 3M and Citizens Against Crime and I decided that I'm going to do readings for a living, um, right. it was, a, I, I've never been happier. I don't right. have any of that stress in my life anymore. Um, and then I'm also seeing here that you have a wonderful mentor around you, somebody that really gives you good advice. Right. And I'm going to say this is kind of of a kooky woman. Okay. And it says, it, says it could be. Is your wife a little color, colorful? No, no. no Just no. kind of a little outside the lines? No. Okay. Really, uh, well, this would be a woman that is kind of a little bit out of the line. She feels colorful, okay? And she has very good advice. She's an old, old soul. Um, and it says start paying attention to her, okay? Um, I'm, also, I'm also seeing that um, um, you, there's a... Um, Sorry to tell you this, but there's an exercise program that you're avoiding. <laughs> okay, some kind of an exercise program that's going to make you feel better about yourself. Maybe lifting weights or maybe doing something aerobic, but it feels like it, you're, you kind of hold it out. Like you'll start it and then you'll stop oh, it, yeah, start yeah, it, stop yeah. it. Uh, and yeah. it says you would really feel better if you kept this up. Um, what I'm also seeing here is a legal situation in front of you that is going to draw you money, so, and it's yeah. tied to some kind of a work. So this looks really yeah. positive for you having some sort of success with what this is that you're trying to formulate. Um, how many kids do you have? Uh, one. Two. One? Two. Two? Two. You're not sure how many no, kids No, no, I, I have one day primary. Okay. All right. Well, what this says is that you're the best kind of dad that a person can be, which yeah. is always nice to hear, but it says... 
um, that you see here and feel your children and that you always try to provide the right programs for them and pay attention to where they're going. Um, you, uh, where the sits, it says that you sometimes beat up on yourself about that. So I would say that it's the child that you left back home and you feel like you've deserted somehow. Yeah. How old is that child? 21. Okay. I, I see that you gave the basics. Yeah. I, I see you need to let go of that pain mm -hmm. because, uh, 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 you know, your kids are great. They're going to be great. Um, I'm also seeing that you make quick decisions that are usually right, but you doubt them all the time. So you need to quit doing that yeah. to yourself, too, because they really are good decisions. Um, interestingly, you have some fox energy in your totem. Um, we all have about 12 animals in our totem. They're in the directions. There's, some of them are familiar, but they work with us all the time. And that's an approximate number. But fox is in your power. And what I'm feeling is sometimes in order to be okay, you need to go in your foxhole. You need to be away from everybody else. You need to sort of get, go off by yourself. But what it also says is if you use the energy of the fox, which is really manipulation, <laughs> sly as a fox, you know, that sort of thing, that um, it, it, if you use that in a positive way, that that really works for you, okay? And then it, it really says you know how to work people, okay? Um, but you do it in a positive way. If you do it in a positive right. way, it's going to be good for you. And then it also says you've had a lot of loss in your life and um, that you have um, learned to mourn well yeah. and let go well. And because of that, you've sort of become the power of strength and you really are an assistant to people quite often who um, are going through their own losses. So that's pretty nice to have too. So. That's amazing. <laughs> that really is. That's amazing. Yeah. You've done something there. <laughs> Well, it's a wonderful gift that I'm glad I have. And yeah. as I said, um, I've worked with these cards for about six years. Um, before that, I didn't work with cards. Um, and I, I believe that people got about the same amount of stuff in an hour as they get in a half an hour here at the store. And, and it sort of has helped me to compress that information and bring it out um, yeah. more expediently. And, um, um, what I do is I don't use the tarot definitions, but I look at the animals and let the animal tell me the information. Because right. I'm, I'm very, I actually don't have pets because I don't have enough time to be there yeah. for them. But animals and I get along great. I yeah. love the animals. So, okay. And Lauren's ready to walk around with you. Make a run for the border. Taco Bell is waiting to cook for you. Delicious tacos, nachos, chalupas, gorditas, quesadillas, or try their famous grilled stuffed burrito for only $1.99. Make it a combo for only $3.49. Their large variety includes specialties, combos, supreme salads, and kids' meals. Taco Bell, the best fast food north of the border. So walk in or drive up. Visit all of the Taco Bells in West Michigan. Open Sunday through Thursday, 10 a.m. to 11 p.m. Taco Bells open Fridays and Saturdays from 10 a.m. until 1 a.m. Classic Computer Sales and Service. They buy, sell, trade, repair, and upgrade. New custom-built computers, three-year guarantee, excludes laptops. Or your computer tuned up with more memory, hard drive, or maybe a DVD burner installed for $49.95. Need cables, power supply, or get the computer built the way you want it. You can do it at Classic Computer in their new location, 1921 Apple Avenue, Sweet B. Call 773-5957. Classic Computer with hometown quality service. Call Bad Boys Bell Bonds, open 24-7, 365 days a year, agents statewide and nationwide. We do 10% bonds for less. Call toll-free, 866-728-6400. And remember, if we can't get you out, you ain't getting out. Payment plans available. Call now, 866-728-6400. 6400 dollars $5,000 reward for information leading to the arrest and conviction of the suspect or suspects responsible for the death of Alvaro Laura. Alvaro was 72 years old, was found by his daughter on April 27th inside his home in Muskegon, brutally stabbed and beaten to death. And still, the homicide remains a mystery. Please help Alvaro's family for justice. Anyone with information is urged to contact the Muskegon Heights Police Department at 231-733-8900 or Silent Observer at 7 to crime.
Selenite here, this one, selenite, the long one. Yeah. That piece is for aligning the chakras. Oh, right, okay. So that one's one that's for, you know, okay. kind of like providing support and aligning the chakras. Right. This one, yeah. blue kyanite, which is, uh, his name is actually Kyan after the stone, kyanite. And kyanite is the stone that Archangel Michael uses to drive down through the energy centers in someone's body to align them to the, his healing energies. And so that's used in the Archangel Michael initiations. There are stories that a lot of us have heard all of our life. And Lemuria existed, they, the um, stories range in time, but most believe uh, at the same time as the Atlanteans in the myth, okay? And um, it is believed that when the Lemurians decided to leave the planet, that they left these crystals um, out or around um, for people that uh, were going to be connected with their work to find them, okay? And find them can mean coming to a store and finding them. But they, they do contain uh, a pure love vibration. Um, most of them have a pink cast to them, but not all of them. Um, they are found, um, most of them have been found in Brazil, um, in a mine in Brazil. Um, and they are right now looking for another load of them because the load that they, the original load that they found has been depleted. But um, they, they, they have um, a, a purity um, that's amazing. And the uh, Lemurian or the Mu people that we've heard about from childhood and our myths that we've heard our stories about um, are said to have some are said to have gone back to their original planet and some are said to have gone into the Middle Earth. And at this point in time, as the vibration raises, um, they, are, uh, they are allowing us to know the vibration of these crystals. Um, but it is a pure love vibration, and the crystals will hold a healing. So um, I am a Reiki master, as is Lauren. Um, and um, so if you cleanse the crystal, you can place a healing in there for some somebody, and it still holds that Lemurian pure love energy too. So it does amazing things for healing, and also during meditations, it's quite fantastic too. So um, this is an example of Lemurian crystals that is very rare to see it in a cluster like this with these points. And uh, Lauren was fortunate enough to be able to bring it into the store, and so some magical person is going to be able to pick this up at some point and have this in their own environment, which will be pretty awesome. Well, the but in the it's meantime, very rare yes, is because they come in. They're called seed crystals because they're only found on their own. They're not found in a vein or a cluster, cluster. or anything like that. It's rare to have a cluster even this big of them because. They're found, they're seeded crystals with knowledge seeded by the Lemurians to come at the specific time when humanity needed the information to be able to go on to the next level. And so it's, it's programmed with that information so that when they come out and people do start meditating, meditate with them, they say if you run your fingers across the striations, it unlocks the information that has been stored in here in order to be able to allow you to gain that information. And they say that it's... Uh, the Lemurians are a very interesting stone because they're only striated on one side and then they're flat and then they're striated and then they're flat. That's how you can tell that it's a, a true Lemurian, mm -hmm. is that each face is a varying of striations and flat. But even the ones that have been polished mm -hmm. and don't have the striation still hold all of the energies. So still right. rubbing, because so, they have polished some of them along the way. And um, everything that we know now by, uh, all, there's a lot of people out there that read crystals, that know crystals, that do that kind of work. One of them is Melody, who's kind of uh, famous for her knowledge. And as she held these Lemurians that have been polished, she did say that they contain the same kind of energy. They can they still contain all of that information that is a key to unlocking these doors right now. Oh, I could go out about Lemurians forever. <laughs> I just love the energy of them. And it's really a joy in the meantime until someone gets this crystal for it to be here in the store with us. Because it also, when I talked about cleansing this space and filling it, when you can fill it with this kind of light, um, it's a gift. And, and to be able to sit in the room with this kind of energy, it's a gift. It is. It's a very healing space mm -hmm. to be able to. We have people who just come in 
and say, oh, I just knew I needed to relax today. I said, I have to go to open mind just to be able to feel that energy because and it's mm -hmm. they are feeling the energy of all the crystals it's such a high vibration of of these minerals that have they have lessons to teach us mm -hmm. and all we have to do is listen and they and they they're so healing it's the most amazing love vibration that i've experienced is the lemurians are mm -hmm. they're profound crystals and then some of the other things that they have here at the store that are profound are, are and have a, a generous energy. And any time that you have a, a double terminated um, crystal and you hold that while you meditate, it keeps your flow going. Um, I'm not seeing, you know, right, oh, there's some right there. Um, but they have a point on both ends that's called a double terminated crystal. Um, selenite is absolutely an amazing chakra aligner. So, when you're feeling out of whack, you're feeling like some, you've had something really bad happen with your power, when you've had something really bad happen in your heart, a broken heart, you sit with that uh, selenite on your lap and it helps to align that chakra that's been bruised or hurt, that color, that aura, that part of your aura. So that's kind of amazing. Um, Lauren's getting another one that's kind of an exciting Yeah, this one's um, and it's, It actually has lithium in it. And so people with depression are generally drawn to this stone. It creates a very calming, very, very calming, stabilizing space for yourself. I mean, we have people that come in and just hold it, and it's like you just can take that deep breath in and out, and it alters your physical vibration. Because if you're speaking, like, scientifically, a lot of people come in and they go, like, okay, so how do these things really work? And it's more like this has a scientific vibration, like the vibration of this object is altering the vibration of my bioenergetic field right now. And so by having all of these things in here and having them vibrate, they actually alter all of our vibrations. And so it's kind of like this crystal I have a mecca funny story here. About just <laughs> light too. Yeah. Because I have a, a, a friend who I, I said, you need to have some lapel light, or your boyfriend, she, she was dating someone that was in college and he was getting stressed out all the time, all the time getting stressed out. So I, I said, you need to get some of that raw lapidolite for him because it has lithium in it. And so, so she said she gave it to him. He keeps it in his pocket. And when he's really stressed, he licks it. I have other people <laughs> that. I have other people that. I buy lapidolite because I can lick it. They basically have to buy that though before they lick yeah. it, right? Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. He's taking, he's just taking make a, sure. He's taking a hit of lithium. Because I was going to lick it if I could, but I guess I better not. So. Well, you get, there's little pieces too, so uh -oh. it's got quartz. And it is one of the stones that is said to carry, What's the, again? the name of this one is called the Shiva Lingam, and it comes from a river in India where the river actually one washes river. these stones back and forth to create this, this egg shape. It's a very good stone for fertility. It purifies your home, your temple, and it is said to, to uh, like have the loftiest vibration of all other crystals because it's so purifying like it's just it's an amazing stone to have in your house you can just set it in the middle of your well, house and it creates an entire creates a crystal palace in your home exactly and also it is the same stone that was used in indiana jones the temple of doom <laughs> is <there laughs> it, it absolutely is <laughs> remember the stones that they had to put back in the yeah, niche yeah. in order for the kids to be okay okay what was that stone well the, it represents the male and the female yes, side the of yin energy. Yang. So it's a very balanced energy stone. Some stones are more yin or more yang. Mm -hmm. The shivalingam is very, very balanced with both of them. Mm -hmm. the, there are um, little stars down there. You want to show them the Merkabas? Oh, the there? Merkabas are. Yeah. yeah. And um, their Merkabas, Merkabas is, is a cut, it's a cut crystal. Um, but um, it's also. Um, there's a whole series of teachings that are based on this particular star, and it's it's. Um, if you, you see this as kind of like maybe it's a three-dimensional shape of your speaker. energetic body shape. So if you hold it this way, you can see that this would represent your eighth or your zero chakra, and then the, sorry, I'm your eighth chakra, your zero chakra, and your eighth chakra. And then these would be your hands coming out this way and your legs. The canon by Leonardo da Vinci was developed based on this actual, it's a um, numerological. Is it? What do they call the? Phi. Phi. Phi? Pi. Pi. Okay. It's the ratio of pi, the golden <laughs> rectangle, phi, the golden rectangle and everything like that. The golden Cut that out. It's all sacred <laughs> geometry. 
It's all sacred geometry. And okay. Sacred geometry is the use of numbers and symbols in order to say that basically that creates our entire reality through these two circles that decided to replicate and then come together and create the Vizica Pisces. And through all that comes the Merkaba. So. That's what it says right here. See, she did this without, you know, without reading the card. Okay. So you're good to go with I'm that. I'm good to go. Yeah. Star of David. Okay. Yeah. And it was used throughout Egypt. Um, it means chariot in Hebrew. In the 18th dynasty of ancient Egypt, it meant mer, rotating fields of light, ka for spirit, and ba for soul. Merkaba activates the protective love of the universe and awakens, heals, and transforms on the spiritual, physical, mental, and emotional levels. Wonderful. You have quite a collection of books, too. Don't you? Yeah, we have a very wide collection of books on this shelf here. We have all of our like energy medicine, healing, nourishing traditions, the book about all the different foods that we eat and why we should or shouldn't be eating them, which a lot of people aren't kind of prepared for that because you have to give up a lot in order to be able to start eating really healthy. Um, and then we have on the shelf more, more healing and self-help books and things like that. These are, this is that Love is in the Earth book that we were talking about, A Kaleidoscope of Crystals. This has all the metaphysical meanings of all the crystals that we just went through. What's the answer to the question? Who are we? Why are we here? What happens when we die? Where do we go? Are ghosts real? Are there other worlds, physical, spiritual? These are just some of the questions we'll try to answer. And all we ask is to keep an open mind. And then we carry a lot of the different instruments over here. People like to come in and make music and have fun. And so all the kids come in and get the rattles and everything. And then the drums for our drum circles that we have once a month, the first Friday of every month, the community drum circles. And then we have all the Swarovski crystal jewelry that a lot of the women come in and say, you know, oh, I really just need something to really embrace the fact that, you know, do something special for myself. And so they get the goddess bracelet or the goddess jewelry, which has a blessing. And Penny Crabtree is the artist, and she goes and takes all of them and has them blessed by holy men and divine people. In, uh, and over here we have our essential oils and flower essences and oil burners. And then we have a selection of wind chimes and a whole bunch of different little statues uh, Buddhas and Kuan Yin and um, singing bowls from Tibet. These are pretty cool. They and so they have a dorje, which is the male aspect, and then the bell is the female aspect. And when used together, they create a very stable, balanced energy within oneself. Generally, the bell is used at the beginning and at the end of a meditation. In August of 2000, the Grand Haven Coast Guard heard a young child out in the water crying. In Oscar Oswald, here we are in Rockford, Michigan, and we're here in front of the bookstore Open Mind, which is more than just a bookstore, which we'll find out. We'll be talking with Lauren, who is the owner and manager of the store, and a psychic Mary, who are both very intriguing and very interesting people that I think you'll enjoy. We carry all the different kinds of incense and the Native American things down here. We have a lot of the sage, which is really good for cleansing your house and purifying your space. Um, the sweet grass is a very feminine energy, which puts that back into your space. Uh, and then we carry a lot of the different incense, and then over here we have all the different herbs and things for, um, Natalie Lynn does kind of more of a Celtic herbs or witches herbs and things like that, so we carry all of hers. And then all the different candles, and these are Reiki charged candles, so a lot of the people come in and get these because they're charged with a specific intention. So as they burn, you say the prayer with it, and then that's the prayer that 
purifies your home and we have all the different tarot card decks and divination decks and uh, crystal balls and things like that. A lot of people come in and um, want to have something, you know, the power of intention. This is one that has always gone really well by Wayne Dyer and that that's kind of this area right here and then we have all the different fairies and um, these fairies kind of hang and then we have all the different fairies here and pendulums. Distress. Hi, I'm Oscar Osbo. The Mackinac was dispatched to what they thought were the cries of a little boy. A thousand yards away, they found a small craft with no children, and nobody heard the cry of a little boy except the Coast Guard on the Mackinac. Over 120 years ago, a young child died in these waters in Grand Haven. His name was Harry Valentine. They heard the cry of a young child on August 6, 2000. The Coast Guard went to investigate. Many other times it was reported that a young child was heard out in the waters, but there was no child to be found. Is this a ghost story? Is this a true ghost story? That's the question. I'm Oscar Oswald. Here we are in Rockford, Michigan, and we're here in front of the bookstore Open Mind, which is more than just a bookstore, which we'll find out. We'll be talking with Lauren, who is the owner and manager of the store, and a psychic Mary who are both very intriguing and very interesting people that I think you'll enjoy. And what it says right here is that Oscar is a wonderful, wonderful man. Um, his arms almost seem too long because he hugs so well. Um, he's very generous with everything that he does. He's yet, yet he's a very strong and masculine man. Um, he's the kind of man that likes to stand back and watch other people shine interestingly. Um, it also tells me here that he likes to color outside the lines a little bit, which would really draw in the whole idea of him um, wanting to do something about metaphysics, even though he has some skepticism. Um, I'm also seeing here that uh, the real um, core of it is that he has um, very strong intuition to the point of psychic himself, and he's and he is waking some of that up. So he's starting to see that some of those intuitions are actually turning into things. Um, I'm seeing here that although you have some differences, um, um, that you are very, you are becoming, sort of becoming very good friends, but um, you hold yourself back a little bit. You don't let anybody right in there. <laughs> okay, so I see some, uh, um, I'm not going to give you all my friendship. I'm not going to let you know who I really am unless I can trust. And so you've always obviously got some bruised trust because um, you hold a little bit back. Um, but I'm also seeing that um, um, there's a, a relative of his that's coming up to, has some kind of an illness that he's going to need to be helping with somewhat, but it is a survivable illness um, if right steps are taken. Um, I'm also seeing here that there's a young girl in his life, a child, um, that is going to be influential in a lot of things that are happening for him. Um, I'm also seeing that he actually is very, very talented, um, I would say probably as a voice artist because I've got the information from you that that's what he does, but um, what I'm seeing here is the star card, which uh, really means to me, um, and, and, and the, the star card is the firefly, okay, and so what it means is he really can light up a space with his abilities. And, and what I am feeling is that that's probably his voice work, the work that he does there, and he does an excellent job with it. And um, I'm also seeing that he is at an age, I'd really be curious to know what his age is, because it seems like he's astrologically coming up to something where he's letting go of some of his stuck thinking. So what he's going to see as he goes on this little adventure um, with this program is that he's going to let go of some of his stuck thinking because he's going to see some sort of miraculous stuff. So that's kind of fun too. <laughs> and then uh, as we come up here we have a lot of jewelry, the sterling silver jewelry, all the um, Celtic porcelain jewelry, sterling silver jewelry, stones, copper bracelets, pendants, this, and then over here is where a lot of the fair trade items are from Nepal. So we get all these, uh, most of these items come from a company called Far East Handicrafts that does all the fair trade items. So we buy them directly from the people and they're paid a fair wage for what they make. And uh, then we have stickers and prayer flags like what we have hanging out front. 
and our lovely mannequin who models our uh, mantra shirts and sarongs. And we carry a large variety of malas and of tapestries and sarongs. And the tapestries we have hung up over there and then a couple of hand-painted ones. And so, and these are paper lanterns that are all handmade in Nepal. And uh, the large table here in the middle is all of our little pocket stones. So people can come in and say, oh, you know, these are, you know, oh, I really need something that can help me cleanse my home. Like, I really need something that's going to be very purifying. And so then we say, like, okay, well, Petoskey is a very grounding stone, or Lapis that carries a very high vibration and can help you with a lot of different things. So we carry a lot of different varieties of the stones and all that, and then we have a lot of the music. So we have uh, meditation music, and we have Celtic music, um, a lot of the Native American music, yoga music, and uh, science music. Like a lot of these by Jonathan Goldman are actually through, he studies the vibration of sound, and so by listening to them they all actually alter your bioenergetic